what's going on youtube today i'm going to be doing a review of the Rainio hair 2. when i when i got this device at first i was like oh it's probably like every other xr glasses which it is but there is one thing in particular about these glasses that absolutely blew me away it was something i was not expecting uh but first let's talk about the xr device well it's basically like every other xr devices ar devices uh like the you know here like i have the extra air the rocade the virtual ones they're basically all the same thing on the surface level hardware they slightly differ in hardware as far as quality accessories and stuff like that they're very uh a little bit basically any AR glasses or XR glasses, what it does is you plug it into something and it projects the image into a bigger screen, into a bigger floating screen. So in some cases, basically what you would do is you would plug in your USB-C cable to the back of this, which the USB cable is included in the box anyway. You plug it into this part right here and you plug the other end into your phone, your PC, or anything that, dis that supports display output. No. All, not all phones support display output. For example, the Pixel phones, they have a USB Type-C, but they're not gonna support display output, which means that if you plug these glasses into phones like the Pixel, it's not gonna work. So you need to have something like, uh, most premium Samsung phones, 90% of them are gonna support the glasses. Uh, Motorola's, LG, the newest iPhone 14 has the ability to display via its USB-C port, but there is no app for the iPhone. So when you plug this into your iPhone, all, all you basically get is a screen mirroring. However, when you plug into your Android phone using the app, you get a different experience. Your phone turns into a hair mouse, which you can use to select stuff on the screen. And um, you have different mode where the screen can stay in one place and you can look around and the screen doesn't move. Now, the one thing that I did notice is, now, for example, uh, compared to the Rookit or the x when you have your image projected using the app, not screen mirroring, using the app, you can look in all kinds of places and the screen will stay in one place with the Rookit and the x -ray. But with the Rainio, you can only look side to side with the image staying. If you look up and down, the image is going to follow you which I don't like that because it does have the gyros or whatever it is that can allow you to look everywhere. But for some reason, you can only look left and right with these glasses. Um, it is very bright. Like you're not gonna have any issues at all. It's actually brighter than the x which I thought was pretty adequate. And this is much, I won't say much brighter. The extra is about 500 nits. This is about 600 nits. So, and you can tell that difference. The 100 nits makes a difference. The audio quality is um, is on the weaker side. It has the worst audio quality of all the AR glasses that I've used. And I'm not even gonna lie. It's, you're better off using the earphones. I find myself keep trying to turn it up and there is no bass to it and you can tell the speakers are just very tiny it's even worse than the actual air ones the rocket air one the the rocket max has a better audio quality than this the extra has a better audio quality than this and i would assume that the virtual also has a better audio quality as this based on other reviews that i've seen i don't have the virtual ones i'm hoping i can get one my hands on one of them but uh in the meantime we're talking about the Ray Neal. Now, the thing that I, you will notice with these glasses is it has this shade, right? Now, if you take uh, glasses like the x where you have the glasses right here, and if you have the pros, you can press it and this thing gets darker, or you can simply put one of these behind it to make it darker. With the Ray Neal, you basically have this. There is no way to remove it and there is no way to make it any darker. So when I'm using my computer, right, it's easier for me to see through this. And if I want to make it darker, then I just put simply put this on it. 
The real kid has the same thing as well, but with this, you kind of stuck with this. So if you're trying to look uh, at your computer while working, you may have a hard time seeing it. If you're in a situation where it's there's a little bit more light in the room and you want to have you want to enjoy immediate content because this is so see-through it's gonna hard for it's gonna be hard for you to really enjoy that immersive view because it's not dark and yeah but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna overlay some screen uh recording to show you guys the software side of all right so when you download the software and you open it up and you plug your glasses into the phone, you're gonna get this display right here. If your phone is compatible, you're gonna click on this enter space. And this screen right here is what you're essentially gonna get. So here you have your home screen, which is your 3D. Like I said earlier, your phone turns into a mouse. On this side, you have your brightness uh, display. You slide up and down. Here you have eye protection. I love this. It changes the color, which reduces blue light filter. I wish other glasses have this like Ectrio or Rokid. And here you have Eco Mode, which will use less power, but then your smoothness will be would not be as good. And here you have a uh, sample 360 degree uh, videos. You have, um, I would say that I don't really like the the way uh, the way Rainio does their uh, display. Let me move back to the middle. Okay, this is a sample 360 degree video. By the way, everything you've seen is in 3D. Uh, it's not showing. It's not going to show 3D on your screen because it's a 2D display. But on the glasses, all everything on this menu looks 3D. And you have another 360 degree video samples and stuff like that. The next page you have is videos. Now the thing is, I actually have 3D videos on my phone. So for example, if I go to movies, I have Captain America. Let me see if it will play in 3D. Oh wow, okay, this is crazy. So it's playing my Captain America movie in 3D. And I have the top subtitle selection over here. I can change it from normal. I can do a 3D side by side. And let me fast forward. So you guys cannot tell right now, from your, for, but from my point of view, this is 3D videos. Now let me show you something even cooler. So if I go back to movies, right? um let me go back to movies camera so you see all these videos right here these are 3d videos that i, I actually recorded with my x-real beam pro now funny enough i'm running this program this Rainios program on the x-real beam pro now these are some videos that i recorded with the x-real beam pro that are in 3d uh, let me pick one. This is a 3D video that I recorded with the Beam Pro. It's called Special Video. You guys cannot tell, but to me, this actually looks 3D. Here you have your recommended uh, videos. <clears throat> so the thing is, everything you see in 3D. However, when you go into YouTube or Prime, you lose all that 3D function. You lose all that spatial function. Your glasses basically become screen mirroring. You don't have any of those special features. It just basically takes anything on your screen and makes it bigger. So you lose all that experience. And, you know, sadly, you a lot of people want to have that big experience, that 201 inch display, but nope, you're not gonna get that once you select all this but that's mostly because of something called DRM. Now, the next one here you have is games. Um, I'm not really sure how this works, but if you select any of this, you have to download it and install it, and I'm not gonna do that. Um, yeah, I'm just not gonna do all this. These are not the types of games that I will typically play anyways, but I'm sure some of them are cool. 
and here you have apps the only thing you have as far as apps is a browser i've already used it on my other phone so i'm just going to download it up here and show it to you guys but in the meantime let's go to settings so here in the settings you have properties you have your upgrade there is no software available right now but if there is you can upgrade there instruction is how to use the screen which is pretty basic like it really doesn't walk you through anything so you kind of just have to figure it out and get to the settings but once you get to the settings you can look up how to use the glasses over here and eye protection eco mode yep so let's go back to properties so here you have your brightness you can adjust the uh the brightness level reading your sensitivity this is how how sensitive it is to moving your hair as you can see it's smoother just by reducing the sensitivity head sensitivity i'm not really sure what this is but you can play around with stuff like this okay so this is the browser right here and stay signed out uh, it looks a little weird but you can have private browsing you can open a new window which open the window so it changes the display and what is this settings what is settings so in your settings you have bug pop off advanced there is really nothing in advance cancel uh you can save to your favorites and desktop mode oh okay oh you know you go from mobile to desktop mode that's cool and let's open another page so let's go to youtube and see what it looks like on youtube so uh as you can see i have youtube here playing it's this is uh let's play this extra beam oh well there's an ad as you can see youtube works perfectly fine on this i would say using this is not as intuitive as using the xreal i'm going to show you guys what xreal's software looks like for those of you who haven't seen it let's switch to desktop mode okay and this keeps popping up okay well anyways so this is amazon as you can see um i noticed that anytime you look away you have this your display goes away you kind of like have to choose what you want to see at a time it doesn't give you everything all at once so that's basically it for the browser okay by comparison here is xreal's nebula home as you can see it's quite different you have a lot more going on here with xreal now to open a web browser with nebula you just click on this right here and it's so easy you can just easily move your browser you have different tabs that you can easily open as you can see it's fast you can resize it as as easy as you want youtube uh amazon and google it's just so much easier and intuitive with xreal so you have different pages you can open multiple windows and here's something else that is uh, cool that you can do with nebula you can actually rearrange your windows uh, so I can move this upwards and you know all around like you can move your windows in different positions as you wish so I can have it this way or I can go back rearrange them into this way or surround view all around or I can even do waterfall which everything is on one side and I can just scroll up and down pretty dope Ectrio has something called Nebula and Rokid doesn't have anything. Vitus, they don't really have anything, although there is AR money, but it's not made for Vitus. It's just compatible with Vitus. It's also compatible with Ectrio. AR money is pretty good. It's pretty solid. It's what I actually use every day. 
but Rainio has their own software and it is good. This is what the PC software looks like. Over here I have my video editor. I'm actually editing this video <laughs> as I speak. Here I have my web browser and here I have my file folder and as you can see I'm looking around and it looks like I'm in an infinity space. At the bottom here I have exit space. I can change the flat curve position sort brightness so yeah I'm gonna play with this some more and I'm gonna probably do make another video on how to set up the desktop display and how to use it and compare it to uh, Xreal's Nebula and maybe Air Armani who knows either way though I'm gonna make a video on this I love it so far Overall, this is a really cool device. Uh, if you, like I said, if your primary use is on the PC, honestly, just based on what I see right now, I'd probably go with this. The PC is incredible. It's, it's, there are some things that they could have, there's a lot of things. There's a few things that they could have done better, but as far as integration goes, this might have the best uh, PC software. Xtrue has a really good software. It works well for my computer, but I noticed that a lot of people have issues. So for the vast majority of people uh, who don't have the high powered PC, you'd be better off with this. If you have a high power PC like I do, then Nebula would run perfectly fine on, uh, you know, using the Xtrue, or you can always use AR Money if your PC doesn't uh, run well. If you have any questions, put it in the comment section. Uh, Rainio also has this device right here, which is called a Pocket TV. Just like how the Xtra has the Xtra Beam. Well, this is the first generation Beam. Xtra now has a Beam Pro, but Rainio TLC also has this thing called a Pocket TV. I'm gonna be doing a review of this next and how it compares uh, with Xtra Beam and how well it works with Rainio's glasses and just what it does. Take care and catch you guys in the next one. Peace.